Hello, it's Emily with Lowell Parks and Conservation Trust. Today, we are going to be exploring the history of botanical illustration, flower formulas, and also creating a plant portrait of Solomon Seal. For centuries, botanical illustration and science have gone hand in hand. The earliest known depictions of plants have roots that trace back to ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia. These depictions are estimated to be about 4,000 years old. Aristotle and his pupil Theophrastus were known to be some of the first people to study the medicinal properties of plants systematically. Though no manuscripts from that era survive today, writers of the time cite the colored works of Critias, a Greek physician. Because of this, Critias has come to be considered the father of botanical illustration. The oldest lasting manuscript is called the Codex Vindibonensis from 512 AD. It was made in Constantinople for the daughter of the Emperor of the Byzantium. The book is believed to be mainly consisting of copies of earlier drawings from the aforementioned Critias. I know what you're thinking. Wow, such an old history. These drawings up until the invention of the camera were the main way for scientists to depict plants they studied. Horticulturalists, botanists, physicians, taxonomists are just a few of the disciplines that utilize botanical illustrations in their science. Now here's the big question. What if someone didn't have a few hours to sit down and draw a detailed depiction of a plant in the field? What if you weren't an artist? There is and was an alternative method to recording information about plants called the flower formula. The flower formula was first used in the early 19th century in a textbook to describe the characteristics of floral families. The number following the letter K was for the amount of sepals on the calyx. Following the letter C was the amount of petals on the corolla. Following the letter A was the amount of stamens, and lastly, following the letter G was the ovary with how many carpels inside. There are a handful of rules. One of the most common is that if the number is greater than 12, you write an infinity symbol. And for the position of the ovary, you make a line either above or below the G. Here is a flower formula for a flower very common in Lowell. Any guesses? This is the flower formula for a buttercup. The calyx has five sepals, corolla has five petals, the androceum has many stamens, greater than 12, so we say infinity. And the ovary, which will be superior, has many carpels, greater than 12, so we also say infinity. Today, botanical illustration still plays a big part in science. Plates are botanical illustrations with multiple figures, all labeled, that show the components of a plant throughout its life cycle. These plates usually include cross sections or dissections. This effect is hard to achieve in a single photograph. Plant portraits like this one of Solomon Seal are also valuable additions to ID books. many influential botanical illustrators over the years. Many not only informing scientists, but also inspiring other artists. As a scientist, I personally love botanical illustration because it is so irrevocably tied with botany. You can't have one without the other. I hope you enjoyed learning a bit about the history of botanical illustration with me. See you next time!